So if you notice on the website, the three sections in the header, one, two, three, that's what we're gonna build. So we need one, two, three. So I just press Alt, drag, and that copies the, the actual selected component. Next thing is we wanna put in our logos. If I copy this by pressing Alt, drag, and just put it by the corner. This has got a width of about 135, 128. And then one for the main logo. That's cool. And then what I need is a couple for these menu links. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So alt, 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 drag, alt, drag, six and seven cool i'm just going to make them smaller just move them slightly to the center so i selected them all by pressing shift and select so let's put in some actual labels if i select a particular rectangle and press enter you can start typing new releases that's this guy for so this one, men versus women. Then we have kids. Gifts. Sale. Collections. So we'll just space this out a little bit. Let's zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna just increase the width for new releases. And there we go, cool. So I'm not worried about where stuff is at the moment. Now I want to define the inner grid, which is where the content is gonna sit. So this spacing here is also, is marking the edges of this inner grid. So you can notice that all the content sits inside this inner grid apart from the carousel right down to the footer so that's what i'm going to create next what i'm going to do to do that is i'm going to bring in a, a box make it a size 1024 i'm going to select the background box then align center cool and then what i can do is drag from the ruler a guide and what I'm also going to do is to press control to create a global guide you can see it by that magenta color and I'm going to create another one towards the end cool and this grid will now be visible across the entire project so I can take this out now We will need a search bar. So the search component and then a couple of social links. So I'm just gonna resize this to be smaller. Not too worried about the size. Right now the height is about, let's see, 44. Let's make it around 40. Cool. And then I also wanna change the radius. On the corners, we'll change that to 20. Cool. And then for icons, you're going to find them under library. Click on icons, and we can start searching. These are default icons which exist inside ActionRP. And you can search based on a name or browse manually. But I'm going to search for a bag. And I'm also going to search for the heart. Cool. Right. And that's going to represent these two. Unfortunately, we don't have line icons like the ones found on night.com site, but it's fine. This is a prototype, so it's not too much of a big deal. Okay. And lastly, we also need search. 
switch icon. Okay, cool. Now let's resize these to about 20. With 20, and the height 20. There we go, cool. Let's change this to 20, cool. Change that to 20. All right, let's zoom in a bit more. And bring in the search icon there, the back to the side, and see how actually it helps you align stuff as well. Search icon, cool. And next is our logos. So what I like to do is purely just take a screenshot of these two, save them out, and then just bring them bring them in to the actual prototype. So there's my Nike logo. And then I need my Michael Jordan, the Air Jordan logo over on this area. Okay, cool. Then lastly, we need to get in a couple of links on, this, on the top here. Help join us and sign in. And each one is separated so what we'll do is we'll go to the default library pick label and drag that in and by default um, label is size 14 we're going to change that to 12 and then we're going to bring in a vertical line as well there we go and resize it by pressing shift and drag this up cool and if you press alt drag you can create a duplicate and then press label alt drag press label alt drag and there we go now what i want to do is to select them all and drag them towards the end and you'll notice that my selection mode is actually switched to select contained so that means only the things which I I drag over get selected. Okay. Cool. For search, we can create a text field. So go down here to forms, drag text field in, and then resize this text field to just match the size of your of your search bar your search container. I'm just going to pull this out a little bit more. Okay, cool. That's the first part. And then we also need a label for this section, which has the announcements. So I'm just going to copy and paste. Cool. And there we go. Okay, and if I wanted to center this, I would select the background first, then the font, and then hit center. Awesome. Now let's add a bit of styling in terms of color and in terms of interaction. So you notice the menu links have like uh, a bottom border line. We're going to put that in. We're going to put in a bit of gray as well. We're going to put in a little line at the bottom of the third container. So let's, let's do that. So for the first thing, we want to change the color of this top container. So we're going to select fill color. Use the pen tool. This little pen tool because it picks the color of whatever it mouses over. I'm going to pick from the Air Jordan logo, select, close that, I'm going to, I'm going to take out the border by selecting this, okay, cool, and the same for the container, I'm going to select transparent, fill and transparent border, okay, cool. 
I'm also going to remove the fill of the Nike logo, remove the border, remove the fill. Okay, done. For this second container, I want to take out the border, make that transparent. For this last one, I want to take out the border as well, but I'm going to add a fill, which is that. Cool. And what we're going to do as well is to add in this little light gray border at the bottom. By selecting border, uh, you can keep to that color, that gray. You can pick from any of the grays, or you can pick from this color picker as well. Should be fine. Don't overthink it, just throw it on. Okay, cool. But we also we only want it at the bottom of the container. So go over here to visibility and select these off. For our menu links, select them all. And let's remove the border. Cool. And then for our search field, let's also remove the fill and the actual border as well. For the outer one, we want it to be the same color as that. So we'll change the fill to that color. And then the border, there will be no border. And it gives us a nice clean look. There we go. So if you want to remove the guide so that you can see what's happening, you just press Command, Option, Comma. Okay. And that is how it sets. Awesome. And then next, what we want to do is to add in that little mouse over feel and the mouse over for, for that. So that looks like a grayish kind of color. What we can do is to select our labels. And then when you right click, you're going to choose style effects. And this allows us to define mouse over styles, mouse down, selected styles, activated, and so forth. So we can change any attribute, any style attribute uh, pertaining to that particular object. In this case, text. So what we want to do is on mouse over, we want the font color to take on like a little gray. So if you want to know what gray I'm using, I'm using A6, 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 and then I'll say, okay. And I, you can see the actual preview by clicking on this. You'll notice at the back, it's changing. And I'll say, okay, cool. And for these guys, Select them all, right click, go to style effects, and what we want is an act is a border at the bottom, and we're going to make it a border thickness of about four. And then the color we can take, let's see, it's like a black. So we're gonna make it black, yeah, cool. So you can see how strong it is, nice. And say, okay, cool. So when we hit preview, just to see how this prototype sits, and you can actually see it um, in a web browser, you just hit preview. And there's our page right now. So for our header, there's our mouse over interaction. There's our search and typing content in there. 
and there's our mouse over for these top labels. Awesome. So now we can change our labels to help join us and sign up. Enter help. Enter join us and sign in. Awesome. And then for our search field, there is a text hint called search. So what we'll do is if you select the text field and go to go to interactions, then scroll all the way down. We want our input type to be text. These these are like the actual properties for that text field. We want the input type to text, correct? I want our hint text to be search. And then we want it to hide after typing, correct? Cool. And there's search automatically positioned in there. And then move search a little bit, yeah. And I'm gonna bold these guys up. You can select all of them, go to style tab, and then go to this little icon here and make it bold. Cool. And that is the hair.